This is Twit. We were playing around with our uh, with our tricorder here. This is kind of one of the, in some ways, the holy grail, right, of uh, yeah. medicine. Oh, the well, idea that a machine could just diagnose. It's an iconic idea from Star Trek. You have this one thing that can diagnose you, help Anything. prepare you, kind of yeah. figure you all out quickly. Yeah. And, it, and that idea is so strong in pop culture, it's kind of become a holy grail for medicine, really. <laughs> well, guess what? On the line with us right now, Dr. Basil Harris of Basil Leaf Technologies, he won... His team won a $2.6 million X prize for creating Dexter, which is, is it a tricorder, Basil? It is. It's a tricorder. Um, and uh, thanks for thanks for having me on the thanks show. Thanks for being on uh, here. I appreciate show. it. Yeah. I see Sulu behind you. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so this X prize was put on by, uh, by Qualcomm. That's right. Qualcomm Foundation in, uh, in conjunction with... Uh, uh, X Prize Foundation uh, uh, came up with this uh, competition, and there were uh, over 300 teams from all around the world uh, competing to to build the first generation tricorder, uh, and they were uh, tested at uh, UCSD, and uh, we were fortunate enough to come out on top, and it was uh, it's been an awesome experience. What was the what was the actual assignment? So the actual assignment is. It's a little bit more than the tricorder that you have, the, the prop tricorder that you have there. <laughs> yes. Thank you for, <laughs> for telling us it's a prop. <laughs> right? well, <laughs> Yours is more capable than this, is what you're saying. <laughs> well, yeah, that one, it was in the hands of Dr. McCoy. Right. So it would give readouts to, to Dr. McCoy. Right. But it was still up to, uh, up to the ship's doctor to interpret those vital signs and right. those readings to come up with the determination. Mm -hmm. like he had to say, oh, he's dead, Jim. You know, <laughs> he had to be able to make that decision. Right. And so uh, XPRIZE, uh, you know, they, they are always trying to make things as difficult as possible. And uh, they said that's not enough to come up with the cool technology. Uh, let's have the teams actually uh, code the physician into the tricorder wow. as well. Wow. Now, and are so you a physician, Dr. Harris? Uh, yes, I'm an ER doctor oh. over out in wow. Philadelphia uh, with a background in engineering before I went into medicine. Oh, interesting. So it's uh, a great opportunity to try and marry the, uh, the two. And the were two you teams. a Star Trek fan? Absolutely. <laughs> I did miss the, uh, the initial running of the uh, original series uh, by about a decade. A little but, too uh, young, yeah. Yeah. I, I was stunned to learn it's 50 years old. Yeah, I, mean, I was a kid when it came out. That's pretty it, it, as, as you said, as old as uh, Sergeant Pepper's. Yeah, this is yeah. crazy. <laughs> so, right. so you, 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 did, was this something that you had started before the X Prize, or was it just the X Prize that got you going on this? I, it was the X Prize that that got okay. me uh, got me going. Uh, otherwise, wow. I'd still uh, I'm still a full time ER doctor, and that's that's, yeah, that's where a, I'd be. If, that's a full time the, job. Uh, that's a busy busy job. <laughs> Um, it is. So, uh, did you work on this with your brother? Was it just you? How? Uh, what was your team? So uh, I came up with the uh, the idea to uh, enter this uh, competition, and uh, I pulled on uh, all the resources, the only people that would listen to me, and that's basically <laughs> my my family <laughs> and some close friends. I'm gonna build and... a tricorder. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> How hard could it possibly be? Really? <laughs> so. Uh, you know, we worked on it for uh, it was a five year mission, just like wow. the show, and uh, and uh, we were very fortunate. Wait a minute, uh, it took we... you five years to do this? Yep, yep. Wow. <laughs> so wow, uh, it's it's been great. It's uh, we learned a lot along the way. Went down a, a, a you know a lot of uh, false passageways and in, in iterations, but uh, persevered with it uh, to to build our our kit. Now, so there's got to be. Uh... Tell me about the parts. I mean, is there something that, that physically reads the patient? Yeah, so it's a, it's a little different than the, the magic box from the, the show. It's, yeah. a, it's a medical kit, um, and so there are several components of hardware. Uh, but the key difference between this and, and, the, and the tricorder on the show yeah. is that it is used uh, di directly by the consumer. So, so there's uh, a someone... Figma mammometer. He's going to measure his blood pressure, I guess, right? Right, yeah. and there's a there's a bunch of components where the the user is is uh, it taught to interact with uh, through the iPad. So you there. measure you, pulse, it looks like as well. Yep, mm. you're getting all the vital signs: blood pressure, heart rate, heart rhythm, 
Um, oh, so you tempered. have a little a little EKG device in there too? There's a little a little chest uh, monitor that oh, that goes big. on you. So it's it's not exactly like the uh, uh, this is the first generation tricorder, so it does have to make contact with your skin. Kind of makes <laughs> to be honest, it makes a little more you. sense that you <laughs> and not a hard thing to do. Uh, I can imagine a patient. Uh, you know, doing this if he, you know, if you had a little maybe uh, a fibrillation or you've mm -hmm. you felt, you know, you have some symptomatic. I could, now, what is he doing? Is that his temperature? What is he rubbing on his forehead there? Uh, so that was uh, getting a, a temperature reading across okay. the forehead. Okay, and then uh, he's blowing into something? That, is that yep, to see if he's drunk? Is, <laughs> no, that, that's actually measuring his lung function ah, to see if okay. he has a restrictive lung disease okay. like COPD. Okay. Yeah, and then you put all of those, those data points together. Then what happens? Yeah, then you you synthesize all this subjective data. Uh, you use these uh, these devices like this, and it's a uh, you're getting objective information uh, like breath sounds. Analyzing that. Oh, it's actually listening to your breath as well. It's listening to see if you have uh, wheezing, if you have any fluid in and your my lungs. My doctor does that, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. and yeah. it get, it puts you through a very thorough examination. And it comes up with a determination on whether you have uh, one of the conditions that we're, uh, we were looking for in the, in the competition. You know, I, uh, so. I recently got a terrible flu when I was visiting my son and my family called the, called the ambulance. To, yeah. <laughs> you know, I was out of it. I woke up, there's six guys in the room looking at me. <laughs> and that's ex they did those measurements. Actually, they didn't do all of them, but they did many of those measurements. They took my blood sugar too. You you, you might want to do that if somebody's a diabetic, right? But you don't have you don't have an invasive uh, blood sugar uh, test. No, actually, ours is uh, has a non-invasive um, monitor that no. can get your blood sugar without wow. drawing any blood. Wow! As well as your hemoglobin level and your white cell count. Oh, you get a lot um, of information. So, so it's really uh, it's really kind of cool. That's really cool. I could see an EMT team, you know, an ambulance rescue squad having this in there. And, and, and now w tell me about the, is it AI that's then looking at all this data? So there's a, there's a mixture of some AI, some traditional AI, some, some machine learning for different components, like analyzing the breath sounds and, and getting the, uh, the, the, the chunks of data that wow. we need analyzed. And then uh, it, it is uh, put all together and synthesized. Uh, to come up with a final diagnosis, it does exactly what I do in the ER. Yeah, you know every day. Yeah, um, and that's that's basically how we modeled it initially. You know, patients are coming in. Uh, you know, it's not all uh, trauma and blood and guts in the ER. Most people that come there are coming for regular uh, conditions, and so I have to see what their symptoms are, mm -hmm. order a bunch of tests, put it together, and and come up with a diagnosis. And that's basically what what Dexter does. Can it write prescriptions? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then you can have an Amazon drone drop it off. <laughs> yeah. What, what's the vision for this? Do you see people buying this and having this in their home so that they'll use it before going into the ER or before going into urgent care? Or do you see this more as something that can help the doctor in the moment? Yeah, so this was, I mean, the, the, the XPRIZE competition, the Qualcomm Tricorder XPRIZE, it was a very cool idea to have everything completely autonomous, but this is not intended to replace your physician or your medical provider. Um, when this comes out on the market, it's going to be something that, that's going to really help make their job more efficient. You know, imagine if you are the physician and you're caring for, let's say, a thousand patients and, uh, and you get a call in the middle of the night. It, even if it's a video call, you can only get so much information, you know, over that video call. Imagine if you had the patient on the other side had uh, uh, the tricorder kit and you're able to see a reliable stream of vital signs, objective information, their glucose, their hemoglobin, their white count. You're getting that information. It helps make that interaction uh, a lot deeper uh, and you can come up with a better decision. Uh, rather than and uh, then sending everyone to the ER, which is which is what I end up seeing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here's a picture of you on the stage receiving a check for two and a half million dollars. What, uh, what's that money going to go towards? Yeah. Is that towards bringing this to market, or are you just going to be able to get take a, a nice vacation boat. or take, what? Get a really nice boat. <laughs> <laughs> now it's it's helping us get to the next step, 
And so getting this stuff through the, the FDA approvals, getting the clinical trials. Oh, so uh, you're done. going ahead with this. That's awesome. Oh, I, I, absolutely. So the, I, the, the X Prize was almost the easy part. And, you know, getting the FDA trial yeah. and, and the FDA approvals is, is, is a bigger challenge <laughs> in some respects. Uh, but we're marching through with each component, uh, with our non-invasive glucose monitor, with our digital stethoscope, all those things. Uh, each component has to get its own clinical trial right. and its own approvals. Right, and those can take more than a year. I mean, they can take quite a while. Uh, right. We're hoping within the year to have our first ones wow. uh, completed and approved. Yeah. So. This is really exciting. It's just the beginning. It's the, the final frontier. It's just the beginning of, <laughs> of, of all of this because, I mean, I know, uh, well, Vic Gondotra's company, yeah. uh, AliveCore, yeah. has the, uh, the cardio, the, the cardio, the... Uh, uh, AFib yeah, detector, cool and that got FDA approval. I think we're going to start to see more and more of this. There's mm -hmm. rumors that Apple's got some sort of non-invasive uh, blood sugar uh, monitor. We're going to see more, more yeah. and more of this, and I think this is a really a very exciting frontier. Uh, and you must be really excited to be part of this. I remember reading about this when they announced this X Prize. I thought, no one's going to make a tricorder. That's <laughs> insane. And here it is. Here it's, it is. It's very exciting. I'm very optimistic for the future. Yeah, no kidding. And I think a lot of this comes, you have to give Apple a little bit of credit because if it weren't for the smartphone, um, that's what's empowering a lot of this stuff. You've got a very powerful computer, mm -hmm. very inexpensively. Absolutely. Uh, you, I saw it looked like you were using an iPad. Is that what it works with or does it? Right. The, the interface is on an iPad mini and, and it really has uh, enough computing power it's to amazing. do all the all the analysis that's needed. Truly so it's, remarkable. Uh, it's something that can be operated completely off grid. Dr. Harris, I, I could just congratulations. Well done. What an exciting uh, time this must be for you. Are you going to keep your job and work on this in the evenings or are you going to go full? <laughs> uh, I'm still trying to figure that part out. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's exciting. That's great. Well, uh, so thank you so much from Basil Leaf Technologies, Dr. Basil Harris. Dexter is a tricorder. In fact, it does some things that this, this prop tricorder just, <laughs> you can't do anything, actually. <laughs> that makes some cool sounds, though. How do you yeah. do the non-invasive? I'm very interested in the non-invasive uh, uh, blood sugar monitoring. It, does it, it, I've heard that there's sandpaper devices that can, is it like that? How does it do that? Nope, nope. It's not. Uh, it's not uh, abrading your skin at all. It's. Uh, it's that, uh, strictly this... uh, optical methods. Oh, so big breakthrough! Hmm. That alone, you can sell that to Apple for a couple of billion dollars. That's big. <laughs> That's really exciting. Have you had, uh, yeah, had investors? Right. Have investors and companies approached you? They have. We, we're still. Uh, kept very uh, uh, private and uh, nice. uh, we're funding everything ourselves. Good for and, you. and with the X Prize uh, win, obviously, uh, is you helping us that. to push this yeah. Uh, forward. Yeah. yeah. Uh, one, one more question. Is it just iPad or is it iPhone and Android devices or even Windows devices too? Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's open uh, platform, so we can we can use any of those. They're, they all have the same, uh, as long as you have Bluetooth and uh, uh, we are moving to uh, to use full Wi-Fi on the devices oh, to yeah. pair with the nice. uh, so we can get better bandwidth. But. Right. Gray Raven in our chat room wants to know: Does it understand Vulcan physiology, or is it just humans? <laughs> <laughs> Strictly human okay, for now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that green blood really throws. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Hey, it's, it's, maybe it. for version two. All right. <laughs> Dr. Harris, thank you so much for taking time with us. I really appreciate it, and it's very exciting. Congratulations on your win. Awesome. Thank That's you guys great. so much. Dr. Basil Harris, Basil Leaf Technologies, Dexter. So could, cool. Yeah. So cool. I'm blown away. Yeah.